Time to play the game so bad the creators forgot it existed. Trying to beat the entire Borderlands series without dying was the first video I uploaded to this channel in six years. The second video was part two of that challenge. It's been six months since then, so you might be wondering, what happened? Did I get bored of the challenge? Did I forget? No, the truth is I've been working on it on and off this whole time. There's a reason it took so long. I beat Borderlands 1 on Attempt 4. I beat Borderlands 2 on Attempt 13. You wanna know what attempt I'm on now? 20 fucking 7! The pre-sequel is pain. It is the most difficult game in the series by far. I haven't even gotten to Borderlands 3 yet, but there's just no chance in hell that it's as brutal as the pre-sequel. Honestly, the first few attempts were so bad, I didn't even bother saving the footage. So I'll just go ahead and sum them up for you. I died as Athena, died as the Baroness, died as Jack, died as Jack, died as Athena, died as Jack, died as Jack, died as the Baroness, and then probably died a few more times after that. Who's to say? You might be thinking, hey, why didn't you just cheat? You always cheat. That's the thing. I did! I cheated in a more game-breaking way than the Merchant of Death glitch. It didn't matter. Nothing I did mattered. This game, this fucking game broke me. Eh, fucking, you'll see. I started my adventure by... No. I picked Timothy, aka Doppelganger Jack. He's the one that awakened the warrior and almost took over the world. So obviously he's the strongest of the six. After saving the real Jack from a bunch of... I don't care who these people are. Jack loaded me into a giant bullet and shot me at the moon. The moon doesn't have oxygen, so I immediately started dying to death. Luckily, I was saved by the one person at all who would have saved me who just happened to be like a hundred feet away. Good aim, Jack. She gave me an oxygen kit, had me kill a guy, and I made it to Concordia. Oh, also, there's this Zarpadon lady who might be important. Forgot to mention her. Jack says the Pringles mascot will help us, but he doesn't. Jack's a fucking liar! Go ahead and add that to his list of crimes. Moxie helps instead and she finds the location of the jamming signal. Oh yeah, there's a jamming signal that's... Ah, uh, who the fuck cares? The jamming signal is coming from these guys, I guess. Who the hell were those weirdos? Oh, whatever. I'm freaking over it. Just turn off the signal. Even Jack doesn't give a shit. Turns out Mr. Peanut was behind the jamming signal. Jack decides it's a good idea to have a civil discussion with him about the ethicality of his- I was gonna let you live, dumb bastard! Yeah, that works too. Now that the jamming signal is down, it's time to take the fight to them. We need a robot army, but Jack doesn't know how to make that. So we meet Pickle, who knows how to make a robot army, I think. And he points us in the direction of some guy who has robot army making things, I guess? I try to get to their ship, but he closes the bridge. Pickle tells me to dump methane to the lava, but there isn't any. He has me open up some valves or something, but it doesn't work, so he has me go to the methane treatment plant and open another valve, and finally it works! Good fucking god! So I killed this guy and got an AI. We need to set up the AI, so we go to this place, and I died. Okay, yeah, that was my fault. I didn't even get halfway through the game, but just the bullshit of turning the lava into not lava is enough that I'm gonna cheat. So in Borderlands 1, I used a glitch to level up a lot. In Borderlands 2, I farmed for levels and gear. So how am I gonna do it in this game? Well, there aren't any glitches I know of, and the farmable bosses are... lacking, to say the least. There is one thing I could do. One factor that I can change that'll make this game easier than your sister at the family reunion. I'll just turn on badass rank. How did I get my badass rank so high? Don't worry about it. I started my adventure by picking the Baroness because she's rich and money solves all problems. Find the jamming signal, shut it down. What brings you to the main? This is what I was talking about. Goddamn stupid motherfucking cliffs. It doesn't matter how much I break the game. Cliffs are goddamn everywhere. There are so many places where I have to jump over a cliff with a car, and if I hit the boost one second too late, or if the car decides to fucking spin out just before the jump, I'm dead. The pre-sequel is the hardest game in the series for this challenge, not because the enemies are stronger, not because the boss fights are tough, but because the game takes every opportunity to fuck with you. Also, the enemies are stronger and the boss fights are tough, but that's besides the point. Whatever. I started a new game and picked Jack again. I actually made that goddamn jump, and with my badass rank boosting all of my stats by 50%, I easily cleaved through the game up to the factory again. I met some guy who can put the AI we found into the first constructor. Oh yeah, the AI's name is Felicity. Even though she's a military AI, she's really nice and super useful. I like her. Anyway, we wiped her memory, removed her personality, and when she decided she didn't like that, I shot her until she calmed down and gave up. Nice. 
Now we have an unlimited supply of murder bots and can take on the people that are doing the bad things. I made it back to Helios and did a bunch of stuff. What kind of stuff? Who fucking cares? Time to fight Zarpodon. I killed Zarpodon. Moxie blew up an eyeball and Jack isn't happy about it. But Jack has bigger things to deal with right now. There's a vault to open. Or, well, it's already open. So, vault to go in? I thought we still needed a key to get in. I guess not. The only thing standing between me and the vault is a giant ship. This fight is notoriously difficult, and honestly just not fair. The ship stays really far away so you can't hit it, and it just starts dropping goddamn nukes on you. Also, I'm six levels underleveled, but against all odds, I beat it. Just kidding, it landed on me and one-shot me with no enemies nearby and I died. <laughs> this game is fun. When I die, it feels deserved, and not at all like I got robbed. Well, I guess I'll pick the Baroness this time. I'm done. Making these videos comes with unending frustration. I've beaten Borderlands 2 without any items, I've played with only a mouse, I've tried using only Thought Lock, I've tried a one life where I throw away items, and I played Borderlands 3 with only one health. Every time I've given up on a run, it's because it's genuinely impossible. This is the first time I'm giving up purely out of not wanting to play this game anymore. Well, time to play literally any other game!